guys. We're back in the Evo with my boy Ray. We're back. We're back. <laughs> awesome. So, uh, tell me what's, uh, I guess, been done to it since the last time. Uh, nothing at all, really. <laughs> nothing at all? Come on, dude. We finally changed the wheels you guys didn't like. Yep. The only reason uh, I ended up actually getting those wheels because I got a good deal from one of my buddies that was selling them. He had them on an Evo 8, so I just took them off his hands. He was selling the car, and he gave me a good deal on them. If you guys looked in the last video, we actually had the wheels I have on now in the boxes. Yep, yep. In the back seat, but I got the back seat in now. Yeah, the back seat's so, back in. So Commuter mode. Then uh, we got the car repainted, resprayed. Yeah, the whole car's... Yeah, because before, you can't really tell because of videos. It had, like, little rock chips. Yeah, on the side and stuff. Go on dirt. Yeah, off dirt road roads and go ham so. on it. <laughs> Seems louder than it was before. Uh, right here. No cat anymore. It's no cat. cat from when we had. It, it's a different tune on it now, though, right? Because Sean tuned it before, but he's revised it. And uh, this is the same tune. Yeah, this no, it's the same tune. We're on the same tune. We did up the boost to 28 pounds, but the car just didn't end up liking it. I was uh, running it for a little bit, and that's yeah. when my fuel pump took a, a dive. Yeah, because I remember you saying something about, like, having them retune it and stuff. But I never uh, heard what happened after that, so. No, we were retuning it. Uh, I left it for him. He, uh, let, I let him borrow my car, so. Yeah, he had it for a good week while I was on vacation. He enjoys driving it, so. Yeah, just, Sean, yeah, Sean's probably, like, the only person that I would even trust with my car, too, so. I let you drive. I'll let you drive that. Yeah, you never want to. So, <laughs> people always offer to let me drive the car. I'm like, uh, I don't know. John, you, and I think my brother are the only people I ever let drive this car. Yeah. I might take you up on that offer. So. I told him to let you drive it before you got the ST. Oh, so you could have gone to Evo World. But yeah, he was trying to get me to get an Evo before I got the ST, but I ain't got that Evo money. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't have the GT500 money, so I ain't going to get one. Which I was really debating, so everybody, after I took the ride, I was debating on getting a GT500, but... Yeah, you were sitting there thinking about it, you were like, oh, that man. Or, that or a CTS me, but I, I didn't yeah. do it. I can't get rid of the Evo, I can't get, get rid of all-wheel drive now since they uh, aren't going to make them anymore, apparently, so... I miss my Evo. I had an 03 Evo. I don't know if I told anybody that last time, but I had an 03. It was an Evo 8, white, best color. I had it for like a year, but... I don't know. I like back when I owned mine. I was like poor back then. Was having issues with it and couldn't afford to fix it. So I ended up trading it in for an RSX. I upgraded, right? You gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> RSX. Yeah. Being tech is life. Yeah. Around this one sharp bend, it's pretty oh. straight. I ain't worried about turning, JD. <laughs> oh, <laughs> burns. It's a sharp ass turn, dude. Look, you're not. tire squeal that was like tire rub yeah that was a little rub yeah. the front end so that needs to be adjusted and i finally actually got wide tires so i mean yt is yeah. different but i'm 265 all the way around opposed to what it was when you rode in which was like a 245 so you got wider tires you got wider tires they're all right uh need to get a I think a better brand not that good one cheap on the tires so how much power is the car making now it's making 453 to the wheel to the wheel and how much torque uh, i think it was like 340 340 around. torque so same as last, the last time we did the video but yeah that's the one thing we were trying to get it on the dyno me and sean were trying to get on down to see what the 28 pound oh, yeah. tune was doing but my fuel pump took a dump and it wasn't keeping up with the demand of what that tune was asking for and then uh Sent him a couple of logs and just noticed that the the car's just not liking the that tune anymore. So we might have, we just kept it. We just changed it back to what it was. Now it's just time to build the motor in, instead. So when you build the motor, are you gonna upgrade the turbo or anything else? Or are you gonna stick with this turbo? Oh, I'll upgrade it. Yeah, so I'm still basic on a. I'm what's still on that stock built turbo? So. So what turbo are you thinking about going with? Debating a GTX 35R twin scroll, twin scroll, gotta do twin scroll or do some precision or yeah. something like that. But yeah. I like when I did the bigger turbo on my STI, I went too big, and then like all that 
lag and shit. And yeah. It's like, and then I wish I would have went smaller. You then, always do that. You do one thing and then you wish you went the other way with it. One thing with this turbo is that it's basically still stock size. It's just internally it's built. So I never really lost that much of response. So that's one good thing. But, you know, top end does soft, suffer a little bit with it. But So it's making what on pump? 393, 400. That, that's good as shit. So, yeah, I mean, it's not going to touch the ST at all or the Fiat, but I, know, I mean, I it's pretty good. Now we put those slicks on there. You're, yeah, you're not going to fuck with the <laughs> Fiat, dude. The chick magnets, a horsepower to weight ratio. This car's on the heavy side still. Yeah, but the extra doors weigh a lot. Oh, the drive weighs a lot. Oh, that's another thing, too. I completely forgot. My clutch. That's what I changed, too. Oh, that shit. That's <laughs> the worst part. I was in DC. Work for the weight reduction and then get like a 400 pound girlfriend. 
<laughs> you'll, see, hey, you'll see dudes in Hondas like that, like skinny ass dudes riding around in a Honda, like a 300 pound beefer in the passenger seat. You'll see really big guys in a Honda. You barely fit. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, you'll see that too. Like I rag on Hondas, but I got a few buddies out there that actually got some badass Hondas, like Rob's. Rob's is really nice. Right. Yeah, it looks. Hey, yeah, it's. <laughs> It looks, it looks like a fucking bucket. It looks, I mean, it, like, is a beater. And, like, primer, like, it looks, <laughs> it looks like shit, but, uh, it hauls ass. How many tickets do you usually get when you pull over? For what? Just if you get pulled over, how many tickets do you usually get? I don't get any. You don't get any? No. It's because you're white. I don't stop. Because <laughs> I'm white? I don't <laughs> stop, dude. Nah. I actually got a ticket not too long ago for 72 and a 55, and I was in the chick magnet. I wasn't even in the GT500. Like, I've been pulled over in that car, and a cop rolled up next to me, and it was like, roll your window down, started yelling at me. He's like, don't do that shit again, and it just, like, pulled off. I was like, it scared the shit out of me. I didn't even see the cop anywhere. Last time I got pulled over, I thought I was gonna get, I thought I, I was speeding right before, and I was taking this, uh, turn and uh, next thing I know I got the lights behind me and he's asking why I got while I was, uh, why he was pulling me over and uh, I was like I, don't, I have no idea and he was like oh your, your lights aren't on and I was like oh oh, oh oh yeah you're right he's like do they work I was like yeah I turned them on and they just made their shirt like just took my license and uh, yeah. made sure I didn't have any warrants or anything usually I'll get pulled over and those give me exhaust tint before and License plate not being mounted properly, but they give you a ticket for that, even yeah. though it's right there. Yeah. Damn. If you had a muscle car, they wouldn't fuck with you that hard. Normally, you see like a GT500 or anything like that, you think, you automatically assume it's probably an older guy, or it's like usually you see old guys in vets and stuff. So I think that's what, another reason why they don't really mess with the GT500. There's like only certain officers that'll do it. Yeah. Some don't. The care. white ones, right? I make a rage. Dude, just for the record, I'm not racist. I got two color TVs. Yeah, the Mexican sitting right next to you said other man. Oh shit. What the fuck is that? Where? It's a fucking clown. No. No, I'm just kidding. Dude. <laughs> I'm gonna run it over. Was it was there a clown back there? No. Oh shit. Okay, oh, good you're, place for one to be. Let me move the GoPro. Alright, watch out for the clown though. Dude, they better not be no fucking clown. <laughs> Ain't no way. It's gonna be swipe popping up. Oh, dude, I thought that was a cop for a second. Did you? <laughs> no, I remember it was that cop. Uh, I was like. I just wanted to show you guys Ray's car, let you know it hasn't blown up in two years of pushing over 400 horsepower to the wheels. And I want to thank Ray again for, uh, I guess, featuring his car on the channel. So thanks, Ray. And I will see you guys.